Hey everybody, I hope you're well. It's Matt Cosgrove here. I'm the author and illustrator of Mac of the Alpaca and the Epic Fail Tales series. And I thought today I might show you guys how I came up with my Epic Fail Tales and I hope it's going to inspire you guys to come up with your very own stories. So to come up with an Epic Fail Tale, it's actually pretty easy because I'm basically just taking a story that already exists and I'm just twisting it around to make it a lot more fun and more interesting. So I took Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and I turned it into Snowman and the Seven Ninjas. I took The Little Mermaid and I turned it into Attack of the Giant Robot Zombie Mermaid. And I took Little Red Riding Hood and turned it into Little Stunt Riding Hood. So I took these fairy tales that already existed and twisted it and turned them around to turn it into something much more fun and exciting and silly and gross. But it was a really, really easy way for me to work as a writer because I was working with an existing story. So it made it simple for me because we all know how fairy tales start. They begin once upon a time and they end and they all live happily ever after. So there's that storyline and there's that structure that already existed for me. And then I just took to go in and just sort of twist and tweak and play around with the sort of the in-between bit and make it really, really silly and just use my imagination to have a lot of fun. But the way I did that was, and the way you can do, come up with your own epic fail tale, basically all you need is what I call my FT lists. So just need this thing here, FT list. Now on one side, FT stands for fairy tales. Now, uh, we all know heaps and heaps of fairy tales, right? So just come up with a few over here. So like Cinderella, there's heaps Jack and the Beanstalk. What's another good one? How about Beauty and the Beast? And we could just keep on going and going and going. There's dozens of fairy tales that we all know that we've all heard hundreds of times before. So that's one side of our FT list, fairy tales. On the other side of our FT list, fairy, FT stands for favorite things. Oops, sorry, my writing's very messy. Favorite things. Now, everyone has favorite things, right? We all love different things. Everybody's unique and everybody likes different things. Um, my favorite things, pretty much all foods. I love Chocolate, I love pizza, I love ice cream, I love, well, I like other things as well, like I like ninjas, I like robots, lots and lots of different things like that. But on your list of favorite things, just put whatever you like and, um, once you've got this FT list of fairy tales and favorite things, then you can combine them together, just mash them up. So I think I'm going to take pizza and bring it over here to Cinderella and turn Cinderella into Pizzarella. All right, I think that sounds good. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to think I'm going to bring ice cream over here. Have ice cream. Beast. So now we've got a great title for our story, Cinderella and the Ice Cream Beast. So but just by mashing up some fairy tales with favorite things. Um, and I just want to say, it's always great as a writer to write about your favorite things because they're the things that you love, they're the things that you're interested in, the things that you're passionate about. So if you're writing about your favorite things, you're always gonna have lots and lots of fun. You're gonna be really interested in it. So it's great to be writing about the stuff that you love, whatever that is, whether it's unicorns or whether it's soccer or cricket or video games, whatever it is that you're passionate about, if you're writing about it, you can really bring it to life because you'll know lots of things about it. So combining my fairy tales, my favorite things, I've got Cinderella and the ice cream bees. So then I would take that and start sketching up how that might look. So let's start scribbling away. Epic Pale Tales and uh, Pizza Rilla and the Ice 
Cream Beast. All right, that's a great title for a story. So we've been thinking about what's pizza really going to look like. I think she's going to look like a slice of pepperoni pizza. She can have two slices of pepperoni for her eyes. She's got her lipstick on and she's running to the ball. I think she's lost one of her slippers. Like, just like Cinderella. And she's just out of the oven, so she's super hot. And I think Pizzarella looks great. She's running along there like that. Maybe she's got her earrings on, she's got a tiara, all fancy. Okay, so we've got Pizzarella happening there. And I think now I'm gonna draw the ice cream beast. I think I'm gonna draw the ice cream beast behind her like that, like a giant scoop of ice cream. And I'm gonna give the ice cream beast some big, scary, bulgy eyes like that. And a great big mouth full of sharp teeth. He wants to have a slice of pizza for a snack. I think I'm gonna give him some ice cream cones for horns. He looks mean and scary. Another ice cream cone up here. So he looks like a real monster. All right, so there we've got the ice cream beast. He's coming up behind Pizzarella and he's gonna chomp her up. But the problem is because she's just straight out of the oven, she's piping hot. And because he's made of ice cream, as soon as he eats her, he's going to dissolve into a puddle of melted mush. And that's the end of the ice cream beast. Because in my epic fail tales, I guarantee there's no happily ever after. So all of my uh, epic fail tales have silly, sad endings like that. So that's how um, I come up with my epic fail tales. Take a list, my FT list of fairy tales and favorite things, and then I mash them up together to come up with something really, really fun. And I think that's something you guys could probably do. If you come up with your own FT list, you could probably come up with your own epic fail tale that's way better than this one. Anyway, I hope you give it a go. I hope you're staying well. I hope you're washing your hands. I hope you're reading lots of books. And I hope you're doing lots of cool drawings. And I will catch you later. See you guys. Bye.